Hello and welcome to another quick video. So this one, we're going to be taking the derivative of ln of x using the definition of derivative. Let's do it. So as usual, I'm going to start with the definition of a derivative, which is f prime of x is equal to the limit. We have to always write the limit. Okay, is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of um, x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So in this case, our function is natural log, and we just start. So this is going to be the limit um, as h goes to 0 of natural log of x plus h minus natural log of x divided by h. Okay, what does this mean? Well, we know what a logarithm is. When you have two terms that you're separating, it means you can actually divide the arguments. So we can rewrite this and say this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0. I can actually write this as 1 over h multiplying this expression and this expression itself is natural log sorry natural log of x plus h over x. That's what I've got. Okay, so um, what can I do? Well, we also know the property of natural log that when you have a number here, you can actually take this number up here as an exponent okay, of the argument. So we can rewrite this and say this is equal to um, the limit as h goes to 0 of the natural log, natural log of x plus h over x to the 1 over h. Now this looks really beautiful. It's beautiful because it gives you a picture that looks like, this looks like E. Um, it's not exactly E, it's weird because E is the limit. Okay, as let's say N goes to infinity of um, 1 plus 1 over n to the n. Uh, this, well, firstly, this is going to 0. It's not going to infinity. <laughs> this is, this does not look like this. And what here is 1 over h. It's not an integer. This is a fraction. So how do we connect this to e? Now see all the changes we could make. Now watch this. If I break this into two, if I split the numerator, I'm going to have x over x plus h over x. Well, what is x over x? One. It's going to look like this. Let's start from there. Okay, so I'm going to say this is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of the natural log of an expression one plus What's going to be here? h over x. I'm going to have h over x raised to 1 over h. Okay, remember we want it to look like this. What else can we do? Mm, we're supposed to have 1 over something. Okay, now see how smart the algebra is here. If I flip h over x, it becomes x over h. If I want to flip it again, so it goes back to the original, I just put 1 on top. See what I'm saying? If you flip 2 over 3, it will become 3 over 2. In order to flip this back here, it goes back to the original. So this is exactly the same thing as this. 1 over 3 halves is the same thing as 2 thirds. And that's what I'm going to do there. Okay. Now let's do it. This is going to be the same thing as the limit as h goes to 0 of the natural log of 1 plus 1 
over x over h to the 1 over h. Uh, we want it to be this. We want whatever is here to go to infinity. Well, it looks like we've achieved that. How did we achieve it? Because what's down here, it goes to infinity as h goes to infinity. Do you see that? Because as this goes to infinity, this goes, as this goes to zero rather, x over h goes to infinity. So we've achieved this, we've achieved this, um, and we've achieved this, okay? Because remember, the purpose of this is just this. So that's accomplished. But this is a problem because what you should have is exactly what is here. That's what should be outside here. Uh, what do we do? Well, I'm just going to write it like that. I'm going to write exactly what is here up here. Uh, no. Now, in order to cancel this x, so it's just be 1 over h, without changing the problem, I'm going to multiply by 1 over x. This x cancels this x, so you have the original that's there. Nothing has changed. It's just algebraic manipulation. Okay, so the next thing to do is take this guy, because this guy doesn't have anything to do with h, follow the rule for natural log, the log rule, and exponents can be taken to the back. Just take it all the way to the back. Come on, let's do it. So, right now, what I have is the limit as h goes to 0, when this comes all the way back, it becomes 1 over x multiplied by natural log of 1 plus 1 over x over h to the x over h. Now this is e as x over h goes to infinity, which will happen as h goes to 0. Okay, now let's apply limit laws, which means we can treat this as a product, okay? And this would be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over x multiplied by the limit as h goes to 0. Instead of me saying h goes to 0, I could say as x over h, but that would be a variable coming into this. So I'll just leave it as h goes to 0 of 1 plus 1 over x over h raised to x over h and that will be my e ah oh where is the natural log sign sorry i forgot to write that it's supposed to be multiplied by the limit as h goes to zero of ln okay here we go so this is going to be the limit of this it has nothing to do with h is going to be one over x multiplied by the limit of ln Okay, that's going to be, well, this is E. Well, again, ln of E, let me write it. <laughs> the limit as h goes to 0 of ln of E. Well, this is a constant, so the limit of a constant is a constant. And remember, ln of E is 1, okay? So your answer is going to be 1 over x times, let me just write everything, limit as h goes to 0 of 1, which is going to be 1 over x times 1. And that's it. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. <laughs>